Hey guys, so sorry about the hair. I just got home from work and I thought of this story and I just had to tell you. Um, and this is a story time, if you haven't already guessed by the title. And this happened, oh gosh, like 10 ish years ago. Persia, please! I'm trying to do a story here. Um, anyway, so I used to live by a movie theater. And I mean, when I say I used to live by a movie theater, I would walk down the street and then down a tiny sidewalk and I would be there. So back in the day, this is what my friends and I did all summer. And, um, one of these times, I went with my friend, we'll call her Sam. Um, and we have been friends at that point, like, all our lives. We're not friends anymore, but I think that just stems from, uh, just growing apart. Like, there was no fight or anything. We just aren't friends anymore. But she and I were really good friends growing up and this was probably maybe like I was 15 and we went to the movies and Sam is probably eight inches taller than me she's like five eight I'm like five foot um, and she's a little bit heavier than I am being taller than I am and so she went and was trying to uh, jump a seat, like you know how the movie theater seats are obviously like risers, right? So we had found seats and were sort of getting settled and then we decided we were gonna move up one level to the next row above. Um, and she could very easily just, like, kind of lift her leg over and get right up onto the next level. I couldn't, um, and not because of my CP, but just because I was, and still am, short. So she did, she did exactly that. She jumped right over, and she asked me if I wanted to just take the stairs. And of course I said... At the time, I was like, no, I want to jump the seat, too. I looked at it, and I was like, that looked pretty easy. Let me try. And so when I put my one foot on the, the seat, because what I was going to do is, you know, when the seat folds down, you put your, your two feet or your one foot on the, on the seat, and then you lift your other leg over. Or what I was going to do was put both of my feet on the um, on on the seat, then once I was stable, lift my leg over. Well, when I tried to do that, um, because of course uh, I am light, and and those those seats aren't meant necessarily to have you know feet sitting on them or standing on them. They're they're meant to have butts sitting in them. Um, the seat folded in on itself, so I ended up standing in the crack between the back of the seat and the um, the seat itself. So take a second to just imagine that, okay? And as this was happening. It was, it was just really, it was like hilarious. Thankfully, we were the only people in the theater at the time. So, um, it was kind of, it was, it was funny. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh my gosh, how do I get out? And I just, ju um, stepped out like I would step out of a shower or something. I think I was tiny enough at the time 
that I was able to like just shimmy out. I can't even explain to you how I got out because I don't even know now. Um, but so you would think now that I'm out and I've saved myself from like certain embarrassment and having to get the manager and then probably having to call the fire department and all that type of thing, um, I would just be done with this. But my friend Samantha, she asked, so like, how do you want to do this? Do you want to just take the stairs now? And I said, well, no, like I had now put myself through all this I am going to jump the seat. So she was always a proponent of me like doing things like everybody else. Like she never really thought of me as her disabled friend. So um, she came around and this time she actually either put her hands on or like put her knee I think on the seat so there would be enough weight on it so that when I stepped on it um, to get my balance it was um, easier for me to do so and I um, stepped on it, jumped the seat and um, we got to our new seats and we went and saw the movie but I don't think either of us will would ever remember the movie that we saw we but we do both remember the time that um, Mindy got stuck in a movie seat, um, and I think the funniest part was telling my mom afterwards. She kind of looked um, and asked me if I was okay, and I was fine. And then she was like, "Okay, good," and we just kind of went on with our day. Um, so it was hilarious at the time. It was, it's hilarious now, and hopefully, um, thinking of someone getting stuck in a movie seat, um, with no one around gave you a little bit of a laugh, and, um, I swear my life could turn into a sitcom very easily, but, um, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video for today and say... Um, I'm thinking of doing a bit of a back-to-school series, so if you would like to hear my thoughts on um, disability and schooling or my experience in uh, university with a disability, um, I do have a couple of videos on the, that, that type of topic, um, so just let me know in the comments and give this video a like, a share, and um, yeah, I think that's it, so I will see you tomorrow, guys.